Ah, shit. I hope that wasn't important. Don't jump on me. Well, I was trying to set up my uh, unboxing video someplace else and failed miserably. Thanks, dog. Let's open the small package with the dog in the way. There we go. Good work, Fluffy. And it is... What the fuck is this? Tube guy. Wacky, waving, inflatable tube guy. What? Look at this. It's like those things you see at car dealerships when they have car sales going on. What is this? You know what? I might just do this to see what the dog does to it. That would be cool. Gonna have to do that, actually. Where's the knife? Of course, no knife. I hope they give you a free battery. Fluffy, I can't open it, honey, if your face is in the way. I bet this thing makes a lot of noise. Hope that part wasn't important. Oh, uh, no batteries. Lame sauce. Oh, what? You got a screw... Man, I don't have a screwdriver on my fucking table. Oh, lame, dude. Oh, wait, it could be plugged in. All right, maybe there's a... Oh. How do you have an AC and DC adapter, right? And, ew, dog slime. And no fucking plug for it. Oh my god. This is terrible. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh shit. Get it, Fluffy. Get back here, dog. Fight it. Fluffy. Fight it. Fight the air van, dog. Get over here! Face him in battle! <laughs> this thing is loud as fuck. Alright! I won't turn it on. Look at it. He's dead. You defeated him, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy! Fluffy, please. please. Fluffy? Alright, fine. Fun's over. Fluffy hates it. How dare you, whoever sent it. Dan, that thing smelled like burnt ozone. All right, there's a gigantic box from Frank, or as I prefer to call him, Mantis Toboggan, but he doesn't want to be Mantis Toboggan anymore. He sent me an extremely long letter. It's very huge. I'm not going to read it to you because nobody wants to sit and hear me read. Uh, basically, uh, let's see. You can't join the podcast, Frank, considering the podcast happens very rarely. Hell, I'm barely even there. Zill has become a manager, so he's doing that now. That's why there hasn't really been any streams. Like, Zill's got a lot more responsibilities. D-Girl is currently recovering from her most recent surgery. Frank has also sent me a flash drive with a, uh, a girl on it named Amy Taylor. I don't know who that is. This thing stinks, dude. This thing stinks. I can smell it. It's like burnt electric or something. Ah, oh, that was... Isn't that a good one? Uh, I can't come over and have chicken tenders, Frank. <laughs> and uh, uh, mozzarella sticks. Dude, I, have done, I haven't even tried to make it to Montreal to spend time with a blonde bombshell. <laughs> you know, it's like... People have got to get that. Like, I have so little time, I'm not even chasing super attractive women. Uh, he also wanted to help me find a 78 Gibson Silverburst. Uh, I actually have found one uh, with the help of the guitarist in my band. Got real lucky, found a really good one. It's in good shape. It's inside of its case. I take it out and sometimes I play. Well, I guess the only people who heard me play it are like D Girl, Clanky, and Zill, so. Some people have heard me play it. That counts. 
uh, I had the Fruit Loops reference. I don't remember, Frank, to be honest with you. Oh, and lastly, like, Frank, if you're making this sort of crazy cash from, what are these? Kino games? I don't even know what a Kino game is. Um, dude, keep your money. You don't have to send me any care boxes, dude. Seriously. Like, I don't think you're swimming in dough. I could be wrong. Because you're sending gigantic boxes. But, you know, save your money, dude. The world is going absolutely nuts. What does this do? So thankfully I read his uh, thing. This is actually a pillow. I didn't know what the fuck it was for a hot minute. I thought it was like a shirt of some kind. It's vacuum sealed from Target. I didn't even know they do this. Technically I don't need a pillow. Um, and I read your message, I don't know how, I, I guess I could ship this back to you, I don't know. See if I could find one of your mini messages. <laughs> And see about sending it back. I, I don't need pillows. Frank, I got pillows. And my bed is, it's broken. That's all there is to it. I'll fix it later. I'll get a whole new one. By the way, nobody send me a bed. You know, don't worry about it. I had to tell Gwen not to send me a bed. The reason why my bed's a mess is because it used to be a water bed. And then Smokey clawed it up. And then I just threw a mattress in it. You know, I was just like, fuck it. I ain't got time for that. Well, we got something here that I think Fluffy might actually like. Let's see, dog brush their teeth while chewing? I don't know if that, well, let's see if she chews it. Cause frankly, uh, how do I get this shit open? Oh no, this is one of those. Why do they make these bag, these boxes so much a pain in the ass to get open? I guess it's cause they don't want you to steal it in the store. But if someone wants to steal this that badly in a store, I don't think, here we go fluff. I like to buy gifts for. Hey, that's not just, you're not gonna take it, huh? Look, it turns a little bit. Ooh. No? Okay. Maybe a next time, right, Fluffy? Uh, cooling pool heat and delivers cool feeling. What does this do? Allergy defense fabric. I don't have any allergies. <laughs> SQ, I guess that means queen size. I don't even know what size my mattress is, to be honest. I just threw one in my uh, frame and that was that, you know? I live on the fringe. That's how I like to live my life. Tension Tamer T. Uh, morning Thunder. It sounds like taking a shit. <clears throat> What's this? It's an empty... Uh, what's this? It's empty. Dry free so uh, I don't know what this does. Either that or I'm blind. Is this like something invisible in here, Frank? I don't get the reference. Green tea. I have so much green tea right now, it's not even funny. I could open a tea restaurant. <clears throat> uh, freeze dried. <sighs> Fluffy's in the way. Freeze-dried mango slices. Freeze-dried, huh? Never... Damn, 160 calories? Where's the health? Freeze-dried mango slices again. So it's the same thing. What do mangoes taste like? I don't even know. Oh, sweet. I think I see something edible. Oh, this looks tasty. What is this? That's not meat. Whole green organic mango. Frank, what are you, like a, a health nut? <laughs> organic mangoes? Oh man, I thought it was like a beef stick or something. That must be hungry. Wait, what? Gorilla glue? I guess he sent this to me because I work on models? I've got tons of glue, Frank. Crystal clear, no foam, easy to use. Is it like some sort of difference between this Gorilla Glue and other Gorilla Glues? I, I don't know. He sent me, oh, that's right. He sent me the duct tape to repair my Stormtrooper helmet. I, I did that a while ago, Frank. I'm a professional. 
You can't duct tape a stormtrooper helmet. What is this? This set of Star Wars 1979? The black duct tape I see, Fluffy. You gotta be careful with here. I don't know what I could do with that. Oh, I know what I can do with that. Uh, when I have a kinky chick come over, I can pull out the black duct tape. When she's into S&M. And then she can spank me with her feet. That's a little bit too much information. Frank wasn't kidding. He sent me boxes of Fruit Loops. I guess there must have been a childhood story of mine about Fruit Loops, but I can't remember. I mean, I've been called a Fruit Loop, but I don't really remember much about Fruit Loops. And also, don't lick the box, baby. I also don't really eat cereal, believe it or not. I can give this to like my sister. She eats cereal all the time. You know, I haven't had cereal in years, come to think about it. Hmm. Last time I had cereal, there's a woman living with me. Let's put it that way. What the hell is this? Wait, what? An $80 jar candle? What? Frank, did you really spend $80 on a candle? Why is a candle $80? That does look nice. Oh, it's made from bees. <laughs> Smells nice. Frank, why would you spend $80 on this? I mean, I could use this if chicks come over. You know, like they show up, I pull out my scented candle. I'm like, look, I'm such a fine gentleman. It does smell nice though. Hold on, let me... Wait, why did I open it? He can't get his money back now. I'm fucking stupid. That's nice. That's a nice smell. Frank, you're gonna be poor. You're like, you're spending money like a Manhattan socialite. What are you doing, Frank? Save your money. I demand you save your money, Frank. <clears throat> All right, we're back with a box in the tiny an incomparable fluffy. Let's see what we got. I never really know how to do these anymore. It's like, should I have high energy? But usually I'm always tired because I'm working on stuff. And technically I should be editing videos right now instead of doing this. <clears throat> but I had to have lunch so I found, ex okay, fluffy. All right, fluffy, what'd you find, fluffy? What did you find, fluffy? Well, it's a box, Fluffy. Do not separate a set. Wait a second, there's always messages in here. I was about to chuck this. Here we go. Hey, Gundam. Just hooking you up with some food to ration during the sea virus, my dude. Hope you enjoy. Also, we'll be delivering you a mobile suit Gundam Crossfire PlayStation 3 as well, so look forward to it from Daniel. Oh, crap, I hope his name was in there. I already have a PlayStation 3. Is it like just a game itself? Hopefully it's like not a PlayStation 3 themed Gundam Crossfire. That might be worth playing. It's not one of those like uh, Dynasty Warrior Gundam games, is it? Those suck. You know, Bandai used to make a lot of good Gundam games. If you don't mind me talking about Gundam for a minute, I know you don't. Gundam Encounters in Space, Journey to Jabral, Zionic Front, why there isn't a sequel to Sionic Front for the PlayStation 4 or 5, I don't even know. Like, we need it to live. And we've got ourselves some teriyaki... These are like beef bites or something? Oh, it's meat snack beef jerky, but they're real tiny. That's cool. Thank you. I have so much beef teriyaki now. How long does this stuff last? I hope it lasts for years. You know, just in case everything goes bad. You know, like uh, the coronavirus comes. I'm only good till 2021. That's not good enough. God damn it. An escape from Tarkov stuff stays good for years. I got one year. Shit hits the fan. My, my beef will be no good. <laughs> my collection of beef. Whoops. 
All right, this box has been beaten the fuck. No way. <clears throat> no way, dude. Did somebody send me Claymore again, the entire collection? Like, if someone said Berserk, that would have made sense, but since you're a huge Berserk fan, I thought you might be able to enjoy this. Awesome manga, awesome art style, gore, intense action, superb. Oh, this is also from Daniel. All right, I'm going to have to email him and see if we can get this shit back. Because uh, I actually own this. Alex from Canada gave me this like a year or two ago. It's a great manga. If you've never read Claymore, you'll love Claymore. Claymore is great. And much like Berserk, I hope you don't mind some anime talk, you little weeb. And much like Berserk, Claymore also didn't get a good anime that encapsulated how good the manga was. It was another one of those watered down fuck fests, much like Berserk, dude. It was a crime. Great manga. How this is not an anime as well. But then again, with the way today is, you know, cause let's face it, you know, animation studios don't really draw stuff anymore. It's all that 3D bullshit. And then you got, you know, the Western people screaming, and eh, there's too many anime titties, uh, racism in the manga. You know, that sort of crap. Pretty good, right? Get out of my face. Don't try and eat mine out of my mouth, man. You have your piece, bro. You just like fucking YouTube. You don't get enough. You gotta take it from me, too. Well, there's my share, and then there's your share. That's also part of my share. All right. This one I got excited for, because as soon as I saw the Queen Mother on the box, I knew it could possibly be from Emily. For those who don't know, Emily is an amazing artist. It's a woman who supports my stupid work and she even draws pictures of my animals. When will people finally admit I'm a good guy? Now yeah, let's get this open. All right. It's artwork from Emily, so I don't know what to expect because she's already done. Choochie, and she's done Fluffy, and I refuse to cry on camera again. Yes, Fluffy, it's from Emily. I like how she packs stuff. Look at that. There's like a sticker that says, Handmade with Love. I haven't had anything from a woman handmade with love in years. Probably since Emily's last painting. Uh, as promised, here's Smokey for your collection. It's only like the second cat I ever drew in my life. I hope I caught your third baby's beauty, Emily. Smokey isn't really a baby. He's more of an ornery old man. Uh, there's no way I can open this without ripping it. I liken Smokey to being like living with an old homosexual. He's very angry. He wants everything his way. And if you don't give it to him his way, he then destroys stuff in your house out of spite. I know Emily only usually does dogs and horses. So who knows how this could turn out. Everything is so beautifully wrapped. Look at this. Fluffy. Look at this. This is like... Oh boy. Let's get it open. I try to open everything Emily sends without ruining it for some reason. It's like I don't want to rip anything out of it because it feels like getting something important. That might sound stupid, but uh, you know, when I got my YouTube play button, I really didn't care. And I know I said that a couple times because YouTube just sends an impersonal message and they now outsource the YouTube play buttons to some company that just makes them out of some aluminum. It's absolute garbage. But when you get something like this, Fluffy's like, I don't want to wait. Open it, you stupid human. Oh, fuck snacks. Well, I failed in not ripping it. That's pretty good, honestly. That's kind of crazy. I don't know. She's like, it's the second cat she's ever drawn. Like, she's good. Look at this. It's fucking Smokey, dude. Smokey, get in here. 
<laughs> Fucking awkward silence. Smokey! Smokey, I need you. Go get him. Go get him, Fluffy. He doesn't listen. He has to learn the hard way. Fluffy, you forgot the cat. You forgot the cat. Go get him. Get the cat. Unfortunately, this is very hard lighting. Please forgive me, and I'm not using my gimbal. But here is uh, Smokey lounging and relaxing. He's a very chill cat these days. He's full of pride. Look at him. He doesn't give a shit. It's his world. You're just living in it. That's how Smokey operates. What do you think, Smokey? What do you think, buddy? You're looking good here. Uh, he approves. He approves. Smokey has been touched by your offerings, Emily. Where are you going? You're fucking up the photo op. Now don't rub your don't rub your face on the lens. Bring him to me. Yeah, I'm calling the cat. Fluffy. Retro and old. Well, that's not good. Man, fuck this. This shit is a seriously sealed, bro. Get out of here, puppers. <clears throat> Get your face out of here. Gundam Crossfire for PlayStation 3. God damn it, the PlayStation 4 that I have is backwards compatible. Did I play this? I wonder, this doesn't ring a bell. I think the last good Gundam game I played was on... Well, that sucks. God damn it, I'd have to hook up my PlayStation 3. Now, this is quite the interesting envelope. As you can see, it's got uh, the Yuga Hiyuga face girls. I don't know. Uh, tactical bacon patches. So, where's the opening spot? All these delicious little anime girls tempting me with their raw sexuality. Mood. All right, what we got here, Fluff? Okay, thank you, Fluffy baby. Thank you, Fluffster. Fluffster? What, really? Did someone send me <clears throat> a nut patch? Uh, snap my choker. I think it says that. No, Fluffy, that's not the nut button. And the other side is... I can't even read that. A brochata? Is that Russian or something? <clears throat> Fluffy, show people your talents and skills. Fluffy, show the... Oh, Christ. The back of this is a chick with a butt plug in her ass. God damn it. I gotta edit that out now. Fluffy. Hit the nut button. Fluffy nut button. Do it on camera. Blood. Hit it. Hit the nut button. Of course you won't do it on camera. You just make me look like an asshole. Get out of here. Out of the way. Hi Gundam. Love your YouTube channel. I certainly don't mind your longer videos. I saw Fluffy endorsing the nut button. That was on Instagram. I was trying to get her to do it again. Uh, thought you would want a spare, but I keep this one away so she doesn't eat it. Also, don't worry about hiding my address since it's public info anyways. Biz address all. Feel free to check out our my site. Email me if you see something you like. Stay crispy bacon. Well, thank you, crispy bacon, for your obviously high profile wares. Fluffy, nut. nut. One nut, Fluffy. One uh. nut. Do it. Do it. No, it's the wrong nut button. No, this nut button. You are such a prick. Get out of here, you. Fine. No nut button today. Watch her jump back on my lap because that's who she is. Oh, look who's back. Who? You were whining, you wanted to get down. Damn battery died. Whoa, Fluff. 
All right, this one's from Spearman. I haven't gotten anything from this guy in a long time. He sent me the Certificate of Appreciation, which I believe looked a lot like a, and the dog's falling. Finally, we got it open. What the bloody hell? Fluffy, you gotta watch it or you're gonna fall. Ugh, got a patch. We've got a patch, NYS, uh, NSW Police. Uh, can barely read that. Almost looks like the Cuban Police Department right there. Uh, New South Wales Police Force. Definitely not wearing that. I'm pretty sure that would get me in some sort of trouble. This looks like this came off somebody's uniform, actually. Great. Will killed somebody. Ow, my balls! Dude, this is nicely done. Look at that. Uh, Journalism Purple Heart Award. The Purple Heart, really? For me? Well... It's nice to be honored on such a level. To recognize the mental trauma you have sustained while reporting on highly toxic events that have been plaguing the gaming and entertainment industry. Your devotion to the pursuit of truth reflects greatly upon the journalism community as a whole. From your loyal fans, we thank you. November 22nd, 2019. <sighs> I'd like to see Jason Schweier to get this dude. This is nice, honestly. It's beautiful. It is well made. You could tell, like, look, that's metal, bro. That's metal. Usually you get these, and it's like that cheap plastic, or it's that, uh, that plywood that snaps apart. Look at this. It almost feels like a real award. I'll look at it finally when YouTube burns my channel. <laughs> what do you think, Fluffy? Would you like to nut? Good work, dog. Stu, edit that so it looks like the dog did it. And the last one for this so far, I'm pretty sure came from the guy who sent me the Gundam Crossfire. I might have to try and play this. <clears throat> Please forgive me, dude. I completely forgot. Now nope, you gotta move away, little pup. This comes from Gundam Planet, so it's obviously something Gundam related. And Gundam Planet is uh, probably one of the best. Nut. Yes, exactly, nut. U.S. retailers, nut. nut. <laughs> yes, enough nuts. Uh, on the East Coast, I think you know, it's only Gundam Planet and whatever. But their reward system sucks. Well, let's find out what it is. <sighs> okay, fluffy, honey. Can't see. Dog in way. Dog in way. It's a. There we go. Chuck that that way. It is a Gundam 3.0. Ironically, my third one. There's a bit of humor there. A great kit. It's probably my favorite iteration of the RX-78 in master grade form. Most people prefer the Origins version. I, I kind of like this one. It's It's got that feel that the original Gundam had. Lots of nice little gimmicks. Well, since I've got so many, I can customize it. And I think I'll make them black and red or something. Well, that should do it because uh, Someone's got to go edit more videos around here, and the dog certainly isn't going to do it. I'd like to thank you all for your time and energy and your contributions. Snort. Oh, wow. Hello, Fluffy. Thank you. Well, welcome back to the Later Night Bell Box. Um, I have nothing good to say. Forgive me. But Fluffy's here, so... She'll do the heavy lifting. Cute dog, semi-annoying man who has a voice that's very feminine and many people assume he's hiding in the closet. What's that sound? God damn you call a booty. What's this? Wait, what the fuck is this? Shut eye, natural sleeping aids. Who sent this? I don't have a sleeping problem, I just have a sleeping problem.
This must be good, I'd assume. Because it's in a very nice bottle. I was hoping it was like someone sent me testosterone because I want to get really buff. You know, my arms have gotten quite small. I feel very twinkish. I look like Nick Avocado before he got fat. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is it? I'm currently fighting. No, Nvidia. That was dumb. Okay, here we go. Hey Gundam, your video kept me going when my wife left this year. Jesus Christ. That's a sad opener. Thanks for all you do. These natural pills help me sleep. Take two hours before you want to sleep. Don't try and stay awake or shit gets real. I clapping cheek 69 oh there's a name for you what do you mean by it gets real like will i be hallucinating and seeing aliens and shit like what realness are we talking because maybe i want it to get real <laughs> this is what happens when things stop getting fake or stop being fake and start getting real okay this one's heavy as fuck dude sounds like a lot of cans move dog I got this from a dude in the military. He owns a computer company. This is nice. I like to, you know, wave around my room and stuff and pretend that I'm tough enough to actually use this correctly. Meanwhile, I almost just stabbed my hand. Oh, I can add this out. Fluff, if you don't get yourself away, I'm gonna block you with my head. Cut away from the body. Fuck it. Damn you, Habib! What's this? And it was like hands. I wonder what could it be. Don't be. Ugh. Fritanga orange juice. For uh, not orange juice. All right, somebody's listening to my podcast with Zell, where I mentioned I hated orange soda, and I hate grape soda. Because when I was a kid, I was forced to go to a golf course, the Little Urban Achievers. It wasn't really called that, but you know. Uh, long story short, uh, they fed all the colored kids and minorities hot dogs and grape soda. I fucking hate these drinks, dude. It shows people pay attention. So this is what I got for free. Wait, search crates. I got an ecology. Happy Halloween, here's your treat. That's it. A stupid charm. What a gay ass, just not a treat. Like these damn great sodas aren't a treat. Is there like a message in here? I'm not seeing it. Well, somebody got a good laugh. They're probably like, ha ha, boom, roasted. <laughs> I bet it was Ethan Klein. That's it, get out of here, you little monkey. Get out of here, you little monkey. Bonus loot. Cold War store, what's this? Battle pass. Oh, I see, you only unlock her if you pay. What fun is that, huh? Oh, I forgot to load in all this, who gives a fuck? Fuck those shaders, man. Fuck those shaders, I don't need them. I don't even play this shit. I was hoping they actually sent me something because they cared about me. But Activision only cares about... <laughs> Hello, Fluffy. This is a nice knife, man. I try never to use this knife, but since I forgot where I put my other one, I have no choice. Let's close this shit down. Fuck that noise. Fuck that. I can edit all this out. Nobody needs to hear me rambling on Get out of your piglet That damn dog hold on fluff. Let me open it first. Let me open it first Yeah, I don't it's like from New Jersey Man with mentally handicapped dog stabs himself while opening packages on YouTube here on dr. Phil Holy shit, that knife actually cut through my hand pretty well. What have we got here? Oh 
Oh shit, bro. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Holy shit, this has got to be from Alex from Canada. Bro, how the fuck did you know I wanted this? I didn't tell anybody. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, this is sweet, dude. Okay, so this is it's supposed to go for perfect grade. Now, Alex did say he sent me some stuff. And I've been trying to get the perfect grade, but UPS lost it. So obviously the perfect grade is a Zaku 2, which is the base you need for this goof custom fucking resin kit. This just came out from uh, SH Studios. It is fucking bonkers, man. If I could just get it open. Oh, they put these together. So it's like, what did they do? Just glue these together? These are like the static sort of change you get for a normal master grade goof metal kit. I wonder the thing is, do they have instructions I can look at? I just want to know if you could switch the hands out. Because the hands that come with the kit are static. So you can't really do any poses, Scott. You know when you smell a resin kit, it has that resin kit smell. Uh, Li Jia Lan. Like that is some production. Dude, I cannot wait to do this. I'm hoping the hands are switchable. If that's the case, I'd be happy as a pig and shit. Because static hands kind of suck. Because it only have one pose. And I kind of want to have the thing like pointing or something while holding the sword. Dude, fucking sweet. Even though this doesn't really explain to you how to build it. You know, it's like, here's some pictures. This is how vague some of these instructions are. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna have to piece this shit together. I mean, look at this. When it's finished, it's just gonna be so badass. So extremely badass that I'm 100% sure that a woman into Gundam will be forced to sleep with me on principle alone. Something big. Can't see because there's a dog in the way. Move your head back, dear. It looks like the Master Grade Justice. Chuck that. Um, I think it is. Oh, uh, which one? You know what? You know what's ironic? Someone just did me a serious solid. I think I actually need this kit for a resin conversion I ordered. Somebody out there just fucking did me the hugest solid. Thank you very much. Who sent this? Here's a kit that I don't think you have. I know you have a clear see-through one. LOL. Alex McCannon. Well, holy shit. He does it again. The man is superhuman. Well, that should do it for the time being. I, I know Fluffy. She's like sitting here and she's waiting. She's like, where are the dog treats? All right, look how big that is. Look at the size of it. Fluffy is going absolutely nuts. I should have brought in another light, but I didn't because I'm an asshole. Well, that helps a little bit. Now, what do we, what's this? What is this? You call this a raincoat? It's not even yellow. <laughs> it would be funny to put you in this, Fluffy. You gotta put you in it right now. Get over here and put on your little raincoat. She loves it. No, no fluffy, no fluffy. You wear the raincoat, now come here. Get in the raincoat. Get in the coat. There we go. <laughs> she is not happy. That is cute though. See, this is why I need a camera person and I can't keep doing this shit alone. Look at that, huh? It's got a little hoodie. Is that not the cutest shit ever? Oh my god, it's fantastic. That is cuteness. That is 100% cute. The box is fantastic because of one raincoat. Well, that made my day. Look at you, you cute little bastard. Look at you. Oh my god, I can't take the cuteness. Yeah, I gotta take pictures of that. 
She is hell bent. Oh! Good work, Bluff. I won't make you wear it long. I'm just gonna humiliate you for the time being. What's this? Oh, what is this? Look at this. Oh, that is cute. See, that's how you know a woman sent this. Cause look at this. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. It's like, no wonder Fluffy wanted this package open so badly. That is sweet. I need help. I'm sitting here acting like the dog is a child. Now I know how my parents felt when they got when someone got me clothes. Like, look at this. Aren't you gonna be handsome, you little retard? Fluffy. Since the dog keeps knocking off or jumping down, I've decided to wear. Ugh! <laughs> Bad dog. <laughs> I don't know why a dog having a hoodie makes me laugh so much. It feels good to embarrass you, Fluffy. Oh, here's another one. You here for your toys? It's like you knew this was for you, Fluffy. She got you so much stuff, that is so nice. And it's got a little zipper in the back. You can pick here your dog bags and your little butt flap. Okay, she prefers the other one. Good girl. Okay, what's this? Oh, well, let's see, tactical emergency tool. Emergency flashing strobe. Hmm, I could have used this in my last car crash, actually. Ah, uh, that was a dark day. It's already open, so knowing her, she might have put batteries in it already. Oh, wow, she didn't. Good thing I've got batteries for myself. And probably a good thing she didn't put batteries in. I would have turned this shit on and blinded myself like a fucking moron. What does this button do? Click. Yeah, strobing effect. I'll keep it in my car. Magnetic base. Cool. It's almost as if she knows that I'll be in another crash of some sort. So she's just like, you'll need this. Well, let's get it open. Why not? Does it light up? Because it looks like it could. Oh, it doesn't. What? Can I take it apart and then put an LED inside of it? They wouldn't make it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I've got Corona. It's over. Oh, she sent me my own chopsticks. Oh, look, and it's serrated at the tip. This is something they do in Japan. Wait a second. She sent me. It looks like tiny trees. Hmm. I will use them in a diorama in your honor. Even though these are kind of, uh, they're not like the sort of stuff you would actually use. Wait a second. Maybe they're better than I assumed. We'll have to check it out. What's this heavy thing? It's a metal zagok? What? What is this? Grenade? Oh, this has got to be a lighter. Ah, oh, it's not a lighter. Wait, I think it's a grinder. Cool. Not the grinder Zill's used to. What is that? Does it do something? Maybe it makes the grinding easier. That's cool. This is cool. This goes out in the, whoops. This goes out in the open. What is this? It says guitar on it. Do you mind getting your nose out of here, dog? God, this is taking a while to get through, isn't it? Something inside. Whoops. What's it? It's nothing in it. Hmm. I wonder what you use this for. Maybe to hold guitar picks. That's what I'm gonna guess. Oh, there goes a the guitar. Oh, it's a customized wooden guitar pick. Engraved with zip. I really gotta get a newer camera, better autofocus. Engraved with it's a Gundam on it. That is nice. No cracking. What time is it?
Bitch. That's it. to cause you any sorrow Never meant to cause you any pain Yeah Only want to be oh something something Such a shame or something something had to win Purple rain Purple rain <laughs> I don't know the lyrics of Purple Rain, dude. <laughs> that is fucked. And I just fucked up that chord. That is a tough one. Let's put that inside of this immediately. Yank that out, throw it in there. Boom. That is uh, very thoughtful and beautiful. I probably won't use it because. Oh. No, Fluffy, no! Fluffy! Give me that, you little cancer patient. <laughs> what a dick. As I was saying, I probably wouldn't use this pick because it would just get scarred up on a guitar. Guitar strings, I should say. Well, maybe I'll use it once. How about that? We'll use it once. Oh, hmm. I'll put this in my spray booth. Let's take that. Looks like a Gundam-related shirt. <clears throat> Why not? Let's go put that with the rest of them I have. I now collect them. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Floral stuff. My own specialized chopsticks. Okay. It says anonymous. But I'll throw it in there anyway. Let's get a look at this cigar. Oh, hopefully she won't eat that sticker or I'll be pissed. Dude, this thing is heavy. This is just straight up metal. How the fuck did they get that rubber thing on the back of it? Let's zoom in, it's all dark on me. <clears throat> hmm. Now let's save this for later. There's no sense to me opening and checking out everything. She sent a lot of stuff, honestly. Look at this. It's like a Christmas box, really. Well, I could say it's a Christmas box. Christmas is on the way. Let's yank this open. Anything guts I approve of. Sort of the berserk. A little big for me, unfortunately. Towels because uh, she used to work at Bed Bath & Beyond, so she got some great deals on towels. Hopefully, let's scratch it up. Scratch up that towel, baby, scratch it. You're not scratching, dog. All right, I think this one won't leave lint on my balls. <laughs> that was my huge complaint for the last set of towels. She said, Oop. razor blade. You have to cut away from the small dog. Because small dog is cute, but not that smart. He's on me with this goddamn tuna. I'll never escape it. This looks like stuff I could eat. I'd swear this was human food. I could be wrong. Well, I know when I try it. Uh oh, where'd I put smoky stuff? There we go. I would call Smokey, but he won't come in here. What is this? BFF, best feline friend. Oh my God, gravy. Oh, that's right. Smokey only likes gravy. This is genius. I didn't know that these sort of things existed. Smokey would be very grateful. Like his cat food, he only eats the gravy and then leaves the food and then Fluffy eats it because my house is a madhouse.
Ah, uh, we're getting to the bottom. What's this? What is this? This looks like a very sexy bathrobe. Is it? Get out of here, Fluff. It's mine. Dude. Uh, bookstore nap ultra plus robe super soft warm and cozy ultimate comfort easy care 15 year limited warranty what I've heard of a one year warranty I've heard of a one month warranty but 15 whoops that's got to be quality I've never seen a 15 year warranty on a bathrobe in my life What else have we got here? What other sexual stuff? Another set of towels or a towel. Oh, it stretches larger than the original size. Hugs stay on. What? Well, I'm not seeing stretching. Maybe I'm retarded. And yeah, I'm probably just retarded. Daniel. And he says, hey Gundam, just hook you up with some food rations during the C-Virus, my dude. Hope you enjoy it. Also, we'll be delivering you the Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire Police Station. Oh, I've already got that game, actually, dude. <laughs> like, it already got here, like, a while back. This could be the wrong one. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. And it turns out I actually own that game. Because there's no way in hell I would miss a Gundam game during the PlayStation 3 era. But the funny thing is... This doesn't sound like chips like this. Well, I guess that was supposed to scare me. But you're dealing with a guy who's been in gunfights, my dude. <laughs> like literally. Unless this thing sounded like a 12 gauge going off next to me. How many pounds is this? 13? This is more than 13 pounds. Suck my dick. You are a liar. 13 pounds, my left nut. <laughs> Good work, Fluffy. Oh yeah, these are gonna be useful. I'm getting a lot of use out of these. Okay. I think you have to take this part off. This is well packed. Okay, what is it? It's a 3D printer of some sort. I think this is any cubic. This paper can be used for leveling. Okay, so we need that. Uh, Photon Mono X. I haven't heard of it, but it's any cubic and I've heard of them. This looks like a resin 3D printer, which can come in a lot of use actually for printing up minis and stuff like that. I can like now print telephone poles and phone booths. I know, like, to you, you probably think, well, that sounds stupid. But when building a small town or city, being able to do something like that without having to rely on paying out the nose for stuff would really be sweet. I don't know, like, I know any cubic, but I don't know which version this is. I have a friend on my WhatsApp group who 3D prints all the time, so he could probably tell me exactly what the hell this is. But Alex from Canada, honestly, thanks, man. Like, uh, this saves me so much. Because I keep telling people, like, I'll get a 3D printer, I'll get a 3D printer, and then I forget because I'm an asshat. Or I should say that the problem is I stay egregiously busy which sounds, whoops, which sounds almost, you know, dickish, but it's true. I usually only stop to watch something before working on a video. I don't even know what to say. This motherfucker is heavy though, bro. Uh, Photon Mono X. All right, uh, it's still peaking. Fuck me, I give up. Well, uh, this will be probably posted sometime around Christmas. It's been a combination of months of uh, opening boxes because I figured it was better I did it over time rather than uh, collecting a whole bunch of boxes over the course of months. 
Who cares? Um, let's open this because Fluffy demands I open packages. She knows she has something. And she wouldn't leave me alone until... Here she is. All right, Fluff. Let's go. Let's do it. It's a very fluffy Christmas. Wait, Fluffy. That's actually cute. I've never seen you do that before. Fluffy, could you... Good Lord. This one's from Amazon. Okay, no. Hold on, Fluff. Gundam, going into the new year, I figured you would try dating again. So I got you a new outfit to help with that. I, I guess your size, I know you're 5'11", wear a small shirt, so don't fret from dread. I wear a size medium now, because I'm buff. Sorry, Fluffy, this one isn't for you. Let's get it open quickly. What the hell is this? Uh, what the fuck is this? This is not a toy. This is about to go into garbage. <laughs> you want to meme on me? It can meme in the trash, goddammit. Oh, if I have a kid, I guess I could give it to a kid. How big would a child have to be? Is this like the size of a baby? I'm not sure. Uh, average rating. You know, this is probably came from China. It's from Hong fucking Kong, bro. God damn it. I probably got coronavirus now. Very funny, Dread. Another Amazon package. Let's get it open for... Fluffy, I can't get it open if you're in the way. Let's lift this up a bit. There we go. So that way you can be seen a bit more. What do you see, pup? I can't see anything. That's like a few pounds of dog stuff. I'm gonna guess this one's from Alex from Canada. So, yep, I was right. Merry Christmas, Fluffy. Enjoy the treats. Hopefully the wide variety is acceptable from Alex. Let's see if Fluffy approves. Fruitables. Skinny minis. Do you feel like you want to be a skinny mini, Fluffy? Okay, skinny minis is a no. From Plants' Fluff. Oh, this looks nice. It's grain-free. Is that like a mousse or something? It's full of vitamins, Fluffy. Okay, no to the vitamins. <laughs> you sure, Fluffy? Okay, that's another no. Oh boy. Eat one on camera, Fluffy, so you don't look like um, a dickhead. It's very important that people have a positive image of you. Fluffy. Fluffy, eat it. Fluffy, please. Just one bite. Lick it at least. Thank you. She tried. She genuinely gave it a little nip. Okay, then this one's got to go. Look at dogs love chicken, Fluffy. I know you love chicken. This one could be it. Yoink. Fluffy approves. One out of three. That's pretty much the whole video. I should just like give up there. Fluffy sat by the box and whined for hours straight. She wanted what was in it so badly. And the sad thing was, she didn't even care for two of them. Oh well, that's life. No, it's not. Oh well. Have another little piece of chicken? Yum yum, it's Christmas Fluffy. It's Christmas, little one. Dude, there's gotta be instructions. Okay. That's about to say. Yeah, this is old. Pretty much these uh classic perfect grades I feel are only good for conversion kits. Look at this seam line in the center of the leg. That probably interests no one who isn't into building model kits. 
but back at the time it was revolutionary. Oh wow! It really is Fluffy's Christmas. No wonder you're going so crazy, dog. Look at this. True Chews. Oh, True Chews, the, like the sandwiches. She doesn't really care for those. What's this one? This one, turkey, chicken, turkey, bacon, uh, something like that. Premium jerky cuts from a duck. Fluffy actually loves duck but not duck treats. He's a very strange dog. Look at, oops. God damn, these are like surprisingly heavy. Would you like to try some duck fluffy? Or would you like some chicken bacon? What do you say? The dog seems so disinterested. No? All right, one more. How about the chicken for dogs? Now that one's a go. That one's a yes. So, so far, I would recommend this for small, very rude dogs. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, Fluffy is very discerning taste, I guess. That dog is dickish. This one's from Leo. Uh, hey, Papa. Wanted to give you something warm and tell you how much my friend Eddie and I love your videos. Thank you for the jokes you bring. P.S. This goes well with cinnamon cookies, sweet pastries from Leo. Shut up, you. What the hell are you doing? Uh, this was open, actually. What is it? Uh, what is this? Is it? A, is, do you eat this? Wait. Uh, uh, thank you, Fluffy. It's definitely not for you because it smells chocolatey. Now that's in Spanish. Stir it until table uh, tablet is dissolved. Bring to a boil. Serve. I guess this is like some sort of hot cocoa. Hmm. You know, I haven't had hot cocoa in so long. I honest to God couldn't tell you. Like, we're talking multiple years. Oh, whoa, that's cool. That's real cool. Ah, it's not a decal. It's like, uh, he went through the hassle of making a... This is printer paper of picture. Uh, this is that printer paper that's made for pictures and stuff. Yeah, that's probably a waste of ink, my dude. But his custom work on the GM is impressive. I think I recall now. He contacted me a while back. He came up with uh, this product, if you will, that you can use as a guideline for doing custom panel line work on model kits. Oh, we can zoom in now, cause uh, boom. Look at that. Look at the zoom, dude. We are living large. Look at Fluffy's nose. It's called High Craig Studios. I have a dog in my face. Good thing for the monitor. Um, <laughs> let's focus on that and not the dog. There we go. Let's see. I would probably change the name. Nothing personal. And it's definitely 3D printed. He's got a good printer. Very smooth. So you take these and you stick them on top of your kit and start scribing away. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. Let's read. Um, here are the guides and jigs I messaged you about. I hope that you find them useful. The image of the GM Sniper 2 was done exclusively using the guides and vent jig. I wanted to really test them out and see what I could accomplish. Uh, I've included the straight scribe set. Well, we're going to pretend like we know which one's which. Now don't focus on the dog phone. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Not the dog. Uh, 45 degree scribe set. Gives you a 45 degree angle needed to uh, blah, blah, blah. Same as the 45. We got a 60 scribe. We got a vent jig. After watching Tim Harkis scratch build some vents, I felt I could make something to do it faster. Well, good work on you, man. And 45 degree scribe tape. I'm guessing it must be this. 
he really went to town. Yes, he did. It's like a tape guide. Let's see. I've sent this to a few accomplished builders, and from their feedback, I feel like it will move into production soon. I hope you find the products useful. I've included some links and tutorials as to where people can find products should you be interested in sharing with your with others. Uh, also, check out my Instagram. Hi, Craig. Highlights custom. Well, I think we show off that, right? Zip. Uh, we're probably going to have to delete that because I think we have gotten some of his name in there. But then think of you. Look at this. There we go. So if you want to check him out on your own before I do because God only knows how long it'll take me to get to this stuff. Uh, not going to lie. I give him a shot, but by the time I edit a video, you could be looking at weeks to months away, my friend. But he did do them. Oh, he did send a sticker. Well, we'll throw this inside of my uh, spray booth. You get an honorary spot. This one's from a woman named Nicole. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Something from a lovely lady. You know what that means, Fluffy? Fluffy! You are being a total dick. Wait a second. We got something bomb ass. What is this? That's pretty cool. Like, is one sticky? It looks like it could be. Fine, you get to look at one, and I get to look at one. I think it is, dude. Where could I put this? Where could I put this? This is nice. What the fuck? I mean, technically, the design of the uh, the Gundam is slightly off, but hey, fuck it. We can let that let ride. Let's read what we got here. Uh. Let's see. Hey, it's a Gundam. I know I asked you for some fluffy tactical patches quite a while ago. So here are a couple. Yeah, I know. Late as fuck. But blah, blah, blah. Insert excuse here. And while I was at it, I made these Gundams too. One is a sticker and the other is a heat sensitive backing. So you need to take it to a t-shirt place and have them heat press it onto something for you. I wanted to make the first coat your avatar had. These are laser cut and hand assembled. Oh, wow. Hand assemble. Oh, I hope she didn't put her name in there while I was reading, because that would suck. Uh, thanks for all the satire. It makes my day. Life go by much better. I work in a label company, but also make patches at home for extra cash. If you have any ideas of something else you want, let me know, and I can make something up. Also, if you open this to in the fail box video, let them know you can get a hold of me at info maverick patch, I believe it says. I probably read that wrong. Let's zoom in. Look at that, crisp and clean. This is where you can find her. I'm pretty sure it's a woman. I mean, the name said Nicole, but sorry about that. Fluffy threw the microphone off my chest. We've got Thought, Fluffy, Paw Troll. Get it? Paw Troll. Oh, look at these. Now that's cute. They can go in our flak jacket. We'll do the uh, military one. Look at that. That is nice. Very nice stuff, actually. This is a great patch. These are great. Look at it. Now, I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to find a t-shirt place to put this on. <laughs> Wait, I think there's a t-shirt place somewhere around here. I don't know what the hell they make, though. I'm just going to go in and like, uh, put this on a shirt for me, dude. And he'll probably be like, you want anything else? And I'm like, mm, a new life, but whatever. This is a uh, tight shit. This is hot. Uh, this is what Will Smith was talking about in YouTube Rewind when he said, that's hot. My throat is getting a little bit parched, Fluffy. I better keep that like information page. Now, this box is heavy too. I'm gonna guess it's more dog treats that the dog won't eat. Open her up. Let me keep dangling off the side of the chair for your amusement. Look at this sheer amount of dog stuff. We've got these. Actually, I don't think Fluffy likes these. Or this brand of canine stuff. I think she, they make a... Uh, and she fell. I think they make pepperoni. Uh-oh, pig ears, Fluffy. Ow, my boss! Good lord. I know this is from Alex from Canada. This must have cost a small fortune. 
Look at the size of that pig ear. When I go to the pet store, I have to pay at least three bucks for one of these. Yum, yum. I know you like to chew, Fluffy. I know you like to chew. Get that pig ear. Now let me position the camera. Talk about being dumb, am I right? Get the pig ear. Since when do you not eat pig ears? <sighs> do you have to do this on camera? Just take it and then we edit it out and make it look like you love it. Fluffy. Fluffy. Wait, which one of these things am I recording on? There we go. Well, uh, thank you for showing up. Thank you to everybody who sent anything. I'm pretty sure I nailed everything. Um, it's always amazing to get anything at all. It's surprising. I've received more gifts in the last, since I started the P.O. Box, so it's been like a year or so. I've received more gifts in the last two years than I've received in my entire life, accumulatively. Like, I'm not even joking. And Fluffy has gotten so many gifts, she's become quite spoiled, as you can see. She's actually rejecting a pig ear. When have you rejected pig ears? All right, maybe you pick your own pig ear, you'll be more inclined to eat it. No? No, Fluffy? You sure? Yeah, you're a good dog. Oh, oh I forgot my point. Uh, thank you. I hope uh, you're having a, a decent or a Merry Christmas. Am I allowed to say that? Or am I supposed to say Happy Holidays? I don't know anymore. Everything's so godforsaken polarizing that uh, you don't know what you can say that's nice without offending someone. That's where we are right now. Thank you to everyone. Alex from Canada. Let me pull for the fantastic patches. Even though Fluffy won't play in snow. Oops, it's, it's focusing on me. I don't need that. Oh, fuck it. Um, is there anything else I'm missing? I don't know. If I've missed anything else, I apologize profusely. Well, good night, folks. And now I can get back to editing videos. I hope you're happy, Fluffy. You put Daddy behind two hours. Okay, one more for the road. One more for the road. This is what the people want. They want to see Fluffy. Enjoy some. You're not you're supposed to eat it on camera. Whatever. <laughs>